This is the Lockley Vision Elite. This is a smart lock with a fingerprint sensor, a keypad, and you can open it up from the app, and also has a traditional key slot. Plus, it is also a video doorbell. It has a camera and a doorbell button, and also has a little solar panel to charge the batteries. Is this gonna be a good option for your front door? Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we will check out and review the smart lock video doorbell from Lockley. This is the Lockley Vision Elite. This is the newest version of their Lockley Vision. And this is the top of the line model that they sell. We'll check out its features, do the unboxing, installation, which is pretty involved, which you will see why later on, test its features and see if this all-in-one smart lock and video doorbell will be a good option for your front door. Thank you Lockley for sending me this product to be reviewed. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. At the time of making this video, the Vision Elite is not yet available at Lockley's website. So for features, we will just base it off from what we see in the box. The Vision Elite is a smart lock with an integrated camera and a doorbell. It records in full HD video, AI motion sensor, night vision, quick 3D fingerprint access, doorbell with two-way audio, and solar enhanced charging. So it has a little solar panel. It is Bluetooth and also Wi-Fi. It integrates with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. What's inside the box? We have some help info and the start here paper that also has your activation code that's covered with my thumb. Installation guide. We have a user manual, troubleshooting guide, door hang tag with instructions for your guests, and another paperwork with your activation code. So you have two of them and don't lose them. We have the hub or the bridge that you need to connect to your router and also plugged in so as to be able to control the lock remotely. There is a 32 gigabyte micro SD card included to store your videos. And we have the reset hole. On one side, we have the power supply port and an ethernet port. We have the accessories box, everything you need and then some to install this lock. And even Lockley included a sign for your visitors to let them know that the doorbell button is on the lock. We have the mounting plate for the inside unit. And we have the inside unit, which this part is actually the battery pack, which is cool. And it has a USB-C port here to charge. Also, Lockley is pretty detailed in the instructions, and you will see a lot of these. And we have another battery pack, so you'll get two of them, which is great. Then we have the outdoor unit. We have a glass keypad right here, the doorbell button, PIR motion sensor, infrared LEDs and a camera lens right on top. And we have the mic. And we have the solar panel right here to help with battery life. And you can turn this and you will have access to the key slot. On the back, we have the connectors to connect with the inside unit. Time to install this. And I've been installing and reviewing smart locks for a while now. And I can tell you this Lockley Vision Elite is the most involved. Now don't get me wrong, it has all the instructions and very detailed. Now the deadbolt and the strike plate has a sensor on it. So there is a wire that you need to feed through the deadbolt hole. And the red sticker is where the magnetic sensor is. And you also need to replace your strike plate and align the placement with a deadbolt sensor. Depending on the hole, you might need to cut a groove for the wire to pass through. Fortunately, I don't need to do that and it went through without binding. Screw the deadbolt in with the two included screws. Remove the paper from the mounting tape and feed the wires of the outdoor unit through the bottom of the deadbolt. Align and stick the outside unit to your door. Next, also expose the mounting tape on the metal bracket and feed the wires from the outdoor unit to the hole on the bottom. Align the screw holes and stick the metal bracket to the door. Then screw it in with the two included machine screws. Connect all the wires from the outdoor unit to the appropriate connections on the inside unit. Secure the wires with the deadbolt extended. Slide the inside unit into the mounting bracket. Then secure it with the two included short machine screws. Test the deadbolt making sure nothing is binding. Now with all my other smart lock installs, I was able to get by without needing to replace my strike plate. Not with a Lockley, because the magnetic sensor that senses if your door is open or closed, you need to replace your strike plate. Also, just an FYI, the holes of my strike plate, which are the same with all strike plates in my house, and I'm assuming the standard, doesn't line up with the Lockley. So you will need to make new holes, which are pretty close to the old ones, but luckily it's still able to hold. Now, depending on the gap of your door, and because the Lockley strike plate is a bit longer, you might need to do some woodwork to make this flush to your door jamb. On mine, it fit without issues, but it might be different in your case. 
Time to set this up. Open up the Lockly app. Click Add New Device. It prompts you to scan the QR code on the lock itself, which I didn't see any. So I scanned the activation card, which didn't work. So I just chose Can't Scan Code and chose the vision of the list of their smart lock. Plug in the hub and connect to the router. And now time to scan the activation code. Set your admin code, and now it is connected. Update the firmware if needed. Just a quick overview of the settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will get to your device's list. Click on the lock to access it, which will show the status of the lock, which the door is currently closed, and the lock is locked. We have the battery level, and in here, tap it to get to the camera's live view, and it loads up decently quick. And you can turn on the mic, hang up, or unlock the lock. You can tap on the door icon, and the lock will unlock. Tap it again, and it will lock. We have the log, which will show the events that happened, including the recordings. I noticed though and take note of the time, 9.51 a.m. And when I click on the recording and look at the timestamp, it is way off. This is a bug in their software because I think this is the cause of the issue that I found which I'll tell you later on. Then we have access where you can add users and also add and retrieve your offline access codes and register fingerprints. Next, camera settings, which I turned on live view recording, and automatic and night vision, which is infrared night vision at night, and the camera recording in 1080p resolution. Smart alerts, and this is where you toggle on and off notification of events on the lock. I just turned on everything in my testing. Motion detection, on or off. You have to have a schedule set for motion detection to work. I just have it 12 to 12 a.m., so it should be on all the time. We have detection zones where you can only set short, medium, and far. We have motion time duration, which I set to zero to start recording the quickest. And the recording trigger, which I set to the lowest every 10 seconds. And the recording duration can only be set to max 30 seconds or 15 seconds. And these are the other settings that you can change. As to smart lock features, and if you know Lockly, they pretty much dial this down. You can open the lock using your fingerprint and their patented Pin Genie, where the numbers will be randomly displayed on the keypad, and it will be hard for anybody to guess or memorize the pin code. You can open it up also from anywhere using the app. It also has a physical key and can use a 9-volt battery to turn on the keypad if the lock's battery runs out. With that sensor on the deadbolt and striker plate, the lock knows if your door is open or closed aside from the lock being locked or unlocked. It has all the features that you're looking for for a smart lock. You'll be notified on your phone when someone unlocks and locks your door. You will get alerts if the lock is jammed or if somebody has made multiple wrong attempts guessing your PIN code or trying to use unregistered prints. You have the auto lock settings where the door will automatically lock after a set time and it will only lock when the door is closed. The lock can have a total of 18 sets of access codes and can generate unlimited offline codes and can store up to 99 prints. You can also integrate this lock with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, but only for the smart lock function. You will not be able to view or access the doorbell's camera or use Google or Amazon Alexa as a chime. The only chime will be on the lock itself, which is not that loud, and the notification on your phone. Luckily, should have added the chime on the hub itself. All right, let's do the doorbell push to notification speed. And you open it up. It should load up decently quick. And then here you can answer, you can hang up, or you can open up the lock. Motion detection on the camera also works, but it is not reliable. I have a couple of instances that it stopped detecting, and even when motion detection is turned on, I have to toggle it off and on again for it to start detecting. And another thing, when the lock is unlocked, motion detection is off. It will only record and send you motion notifications when the lock is locked. Also, there is a bug on the video recording, and this applies also to doorbell presses if you set it to record the event. Not all of them will show in the log section of the app, and this is only the place in the app where you can view and download the footage to your phone. The camera records to the micro SD card inserted in the hub, and when you remove and view the SD card on your computer, the events will be there, but not all of them shows up in the log section of the app. I also noticed that the timestamp on the video is way off, and I already set the correct time zone in the settings. This is something that luckily needs to fix. As to video quality, it records in 1080p resolution, but in vertical mode. Quality is okay in both daytime and at night. As to audio,
Yes, can I help you? Yes, can I help you? Hi, is Life Hacks here? Hi, is Life Hacks here? Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. But you know what? I'm gonna open the door for you. You can come in. Oh, okay. Can come in. Thank you. Yes, can I help you? Hi, it's Lifehackster here. Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. But you know what? I'm going to open the door for you. You can oh, come okay. in. Thank you. And lastly would be the price. Luckily, it's normally an expensive lock. And I'm not sure yet how much they are going to sell this for, but I'm sure it will have a premium price. So what do you think of the Lockley Vision Elite? Comment down below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.